Rick is saying again, and we are California rare fruit growers, and we are here to find out about. Well, welcome back. This is Bobby Biswas, nice and you. thank you so much for inviting us to come see your garden. He's got a magnificent garden here. We haven't seen it yet, but it's on seven acres and we're gonna be taking a look at what all he's got. This is all private property and you don't sell really any Not anything. yet, I don't sell anything yet to yeah. the public, yeah. But, but you have a large number of many different varieties and families and so on of fruit. Yes, so I'm currently growing around 1,200 different species and around 1,600 total cultivars like for example, I have around 140 varieties of mangoes, mm -hmm. uh, which is easy to get in Florida. Uh, it's one one species, Mang Mangifera indica, but 140 cultivars. Right. Uh, that's my mango aisle. Uh, I also grow pretty much all the tropical fruits you can think of, like from durian to polasans to mangosteen to dabai, uh, rambutans, purple mangosteens. Uh, uh, you you name it. I mean, I also and got, got yeah. each varieties of pulasan, like the jungle variety, the yellow pulasan, the black pulasan. Oh the my gosh. Bat. I've been, now do you have any ripe? I have always no, no. wanted to try the pulasan. Wrong season. So the thing is, I moved here only three years ago. Oh. So all my trees are smaller right now. Okay. Most of the ultra tropicals are in the, inside the greenhouse because South Florida is, believe it or not, is subtropical. It's not tropical. Yeah. But it borders on the edge of just being tropical. It's not there yet. Yeah. Hawaii would be tropical. Right. So yeah, most of my trees are inside the greenhouse. Uh, whatever I have, I, some of them I grew from seeds. Some of them I was lucky to get from other collectors. Right. But uh, most of the ultra tropicals haven't fruited, except one of the tree I have, uh, I had a fruit last year was a nutmeg. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, so yeah. It's probably the only one with a nutmeg. Yeah. Fruit. I hope you all recognize this tree, and if you don't, it's because we're maybe I'm standing in front of it. But if you look here, look what we've got: another jackfruit. Tell us about this tree. So this is a jackfruit, Artocarpus heterophyllus. It's the variety called black gold. It, uh, it's one of the feature about this variety is it's soft when it's fully ripe. So people who likes a little softer jackfruit mm -hmm. uh, tend to buy this. I personally like softer jackfruit. Yeah. I also have around 35 varieties of jackfruits. Most of them are crunchy, except uh, this black gold and some of the hybrid Champadak and jackfruit hybrids, the Champa Jacks or the Chinas. Oh, I have I've some never, fruiting I've Chinas. I've not seen those. No, I've not seen yeah, those. Yeah, I'll show so, you that yeah. I have some fruiting Champa Jacks. Yeah. Uh, they are tend to be softer and mushier. Some people love it, somebody like me loves it. So and, this. And these, what color do we get? So this would these be are the yellow. Deep orange or no, yellow? no, this is yellow, yellow, but they get to be big. Yeah. This is one of the bigger varieties of jackfruit. And the trick with jackfruit is, I like to keep them like 10 to 12 feet tall. Uh, uh, they mostly fruit on the trunk or next to the trunk, the main trunk. Right. So you don't want a wide tree. Mm -hmm. So this is as wide as you see it. So maybe 10 feet wide and 12 feet tall. Mm -hmm. So this is the most it'll get. And within this tree, I can collect over two, 200 pounds of jackfruit wow. for one tree. Yeah. Bobby, this tree, tell us about this. This is something special. Yeah, so this tree is called a Artocarpus lacucha. Uh, this is actually, believe it or not, it's a cold hardy variety of Artocarpus. Even almost same or even more cold hardy than a jackfruit. This mm. makes like fruit this big size of a small softball. And it's sweet and sour. Uh, has a little uh, tang to it that jackfruit don't have. Typically, this is very popular in India. It's eaten with some, it's made into a salad like a spicy, kind of a chutney kind of a thing. And this is, uh, I used to climb this tree when I was 10 years old. <laughs> uh, reminds me a lot of fond memories. So this is one of the first trees I wanted to get, which is why you see it big. The branches are very strong. It can hold three, 400 pounds. Even a big guy can climb that tree without breaking the branches. Wow, wow. Uh, now this is a fairly rare to find uh, Artocarpus, Quaimuk. 
Yes, so this is a coin mock. It is pretty similar to Lakucha, but it's the color of Lakucha is yellow. This is more like a reddish inside, mm -hmm. more colorful. And this was species was known as Artocarpus hypergerius before. Now it's called Artocarpus parvus. Okay. The name, uh, they corrected the name. The original Artocarpus hypergerius had like uh, hairy leaves, like it'll be a little hairy. So this mm -hmm. didn't have that. So we know it's the Artocarpus parvus. Uh, very tasty fruit. They're sweet and sour. Smaller, slightly smaller than Lakucha, but they're... Uh, How's it used in... So it's popular in Thailand, mostly Southeast okay. uh, Indo-Chinese areas, whereas the Lakucha is more in India. Mm -hmm. uh, it's used out of hand. Like some people yes. use one of them salt, uh, salt and chili powder a little bit, like uh, a lot of yeah. people in Southeast Asia do that. Sure. And, but it's not a like a dessert uh, kind of a fruit, like a mango. Not would sweet. Be. It is sweet, but not... Not that sweet. That sweet yeah. and not... Yeah, that, uh, yeah. yeah, so... Behind us here, this entire row, I believe you had said to us earlier, is all the, Garcinias. The Garcinias, yeah. Okay. So these are in the mangosteen family that are a little cold hardy. So I was able to plant it in zone 10A here. Mm -hmm. uh, some of the cousins of this family, like the purple mangosteens and the, the, the Chirapu, the Prairiniana, and then there are a few others, the Garcinia indica, the Kokum. Uh, those are a little more cold sensitive. The Garcinia forbesii, the Kundong, uh, those can't be grown outside here. So uh, I did a lot of research into what grows in my zone outside versus what's not. And mm. I learned from mistakes, obviously, killed a sure. bunch of trees sure. thinking this is tropical. Done the same. So I'm sure everybody done it. So yeah. this is pretty much what will survive outside in Florida. So this big tree here is a Luke's Garcinia. It's also called a Mexican Garcinia. It's from Luke, uh, the famous gentleman Luke Vliracker, Garcinia Vliracrei, if I hope I'm saying it right. It makes a bigger fruit, bigger than a lemon drop mangosteen. Mm -hmm. Similar taste, I would say more sweet, more sweet, uh, sweeter than lemon drop, but makes a bigger fruit. Hmm. Similar fruit would be the Garcinia brasiliensis, which is called a basupari, and a Garcinia gardneriana, which is also called basupari. Is it like the bumpy yellow one? No, the bumpy yellow one is the Garcinia madruno. Oh, okay. And they also have another one called Garcinia sp medrono, which is different from madruno, which uh, is much more sweeter, and some people say it's, it's better than the purple mangosteen. Hmm. But those would be the madrunos behind you. Uh, I started them late, so I don't have many. This is another two Luke's Garcinia. Mm -hmm. They grow slower in sun, but they get fatter. The trunk gets fatter, but the leaves kind of, because they already have what they're looking for, they don't try to grow. And they're not that dark green shade, which you would get in a shade, shaded place mm -hmm. if you put shade on it. But uh, I, I had to do some trade-offs. I mean, I don't want to plant sure. something and then baby it forever. Right. Uh, you want it to grow where it is. Where it's and, supposed to grow yeah. without me yeah. babying it, right? So it yeah. has to, I have to apply a little bit Darwin on him, let him get used <laughs> to it. Yep. This is a Madruno. Yeah, they'll get sunburned, little scalded, and then they'll start growing. Now, how much, f have you gotten any fruit on these? I have not gotten fruits off of the Madrunos or the Lukes, but I have gotten fruits off of, now in front of you, that's a Imbe, Imbe Garcinia Livingstoni. Mm -hmm. Those have fruited. Some of them might have fruits on it right now, but they're small, I guess. Mm -hmm. Now these are mostly dioecious. So some of them are male, some of them are female. Uh, and how do we tell the difference? So the way you tell it is the leaves are a little rounded on the females. Not all the way around, but has that like an ovoid, like a round shape. Whereas the males, if you look at this one, is much more sharper, uh -huh. pointier, more yeah. pointier. Yeah, yeah. And that's a, again a female and you're going to see a lot of these fruits. So that's, I, I planted them in. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Lots of fruit. So now some of those fruits may not be fertilized, which is why they might just drop yeah. because it's this is just a female tree. Yeah. And how big will these get? 
So this get like this big, uh, okay. around the same size of a lemon drop. But, okay. but uh, that variety produces a very sweet fruit, almost 80% as sweet as a mangosteen. Wow. And it's sweet and sour, tastes like a vitamin C capsule, but it's really mm. good, I like it. Yeah. Nice. These are imbes. That's a Garcinia sclomborkiana, which is a Madan fruit. Has a unique flavor, very tasty. Has, hasn't fruited yet. You, you can recognize it by uh, the, the skinnier leaves, mm -hmm. the Madan, the Garcinia sclomborkia. Garcinia spicata, it's mostly used as an ornamental in Florida, but it's a Garcinia family. It makes a fruit that can be used as a vegetable. It's mildly garlicky tasting, but it's pretty good actually if you cook it with some of your soups or stir fries or something, you can just peel the skin and then cook with it. It's pretty good. That's a Garcinia ombriana, ombriniana, which is the seashore mangosteen. Hmm. Some people call it the Garcinia benthamii. Uh, this has fruited but uh, it, when it was in the pot, but typically when you plant a tree, it takes its time growing the roots. Right. At least the next year or two, it doesn't like to fruit. Wow, and these have only been here three years. Uh, no, this has been here. So I got the tree in a 15 gallon pot and I planted it last year. So in the ground a year, wow. it fruited in one of the pot. Wow, okay. Yeah, so, so before the achachas, let's show you these two rare ones. This is called a Garcinia, this is a Garcinia atroviridis or called a Assam gelugur. It's one of the prettiest looking Garcinias. Uh, but you can uh, look that up. Uh, it's called Assam gelugur, Garcinia atroviridis, A-T-R-O-V-I-R-I-D-I-S. Same with that one. I didn't know it was dioecious or not, so I got two of them. Hmm. It might both turn out to be males, so who knows. Any idea how many Garcinias there are? There are, from what I know, over a hundred, but most of them yeah. are not edible. Uh, but the popular ones, I would say the top five would be the purple mangosteen, the achachas, the, there is a variety that uh, Steve Trinity got from Thailand, I believe, which is the, the Russell sweet. Uh, there is a dulcis, which is also sweet. Uh, some people like the Garcinia macrophylla, which is called the, so, so the, 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 what is it? So the, the Garcinia gardneriana is called Basupari, and the Brazilians is also called Basupari. So this macrophylla is uh, Basuripari. So it's a little different. So, so that makes, uh, it's one of the old world Garcinias. Uh, well, new world Garcinia, it's called Ridia macrophylla. They merged it onto Garcinia. It uh, makes big fruit that is sweet. Yeah, so that's a good one. Achacha is obviously a good one. The Medrono I talked about, Jim West sells from Ecuador. That's yeah. a good, nice cultivar. And yeah, obviously the purple. <laughs> the red, uh, the, the Forbes CI called a Brun Brunei cherry or the Kundong is also a good tasting one. Very good tasting mangosteen. This is a lemon drop mangosteen. It says a little fruit there. Uh, it's, it's mostly sour, a little bit sweet. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you let it ripe all the way or when it falls on the ground, it's not bad to eat. Good, I like it. There's a little more, few more fruits up there. Yeah. The lemon drop is gonna be round in shape, smaller. The Brasiliensis has a small nipple under it. So it has a little uh, point underneath. Mm -hmm. That's how you know. And the Gardneriana is just bigger in size, slightly. It's quite good in conjunction with the miracle fruit. Oh yes, especially the seashore mangosteen is gonna be good, yeah. So, oh, because it's so sour. <laughs> okay, okay. And because, you know, Acha Acha is one of the top five Garcinias, I right. have more of these. And the reason I planted so many is I want to select the best varieties and I can top work it or uh, that's one of the reasons. So this is the, the Acha Acha. Believe it or not, people think of Acha Acha as Garcinia humilis. That's not the right name. <laughs> humilis is one of the uh, Caribbean fruits that I don't think anybody has in America. Maybe one or two people has it, the Garcinia actual humilis. This is Acha Acha doesn't have a name, species name. This is three-year-old seedlings. Wow. Are people uh, fruiting here in Florida? Uh, I believe one person has, uh, Barto, 
Varto is in uh, Fort Myers. He has uh, one big achacha, but he is like in a small land. So that's a uh, Manila tamarind, the red monkey earrings. Yeah. It has fruits on it too. The goats have chewed. I thought the goats would leave it alone because it's got thorns on it. And uh, so you watch him get up in his hind legs. Look at that. He's a bit of a. Well, yeah. Know. That's okay. Keep him pruned. Yeah. Okay, we have here another completely different than the Garcinia. What is this? So this is called a Spanish tamarind or Voa vanga. Is the the botanical name is Vang Vangaria. Edulis or Vangiria madagascarensis, mm -hmm. either of the two. It actually originated from Africa. This makes a round, uh, sweet, sour tamarind looking fruit. It's very, very tasty. I mean, if you like tamarind, you're gonna like this. But it's not as sour as a sour tamarind. It's a mixture mm -hmm. of sweet and sour. Mm -hmm. I didn't get any fruits of this yet, but it's flowering profusely. You should be able to get yep. one or two. Yep. These trees uh, fruit better when stressed. I've seen this tree respond well to dehydration, like not water them and then flood them, shock them to fruit. We have here something many of our uh, uh, people in CRFG have tried to grow and have done up and down. Neem. Neem tree, yeah. Neem tree makes the neem oil that we use on our plants sometimes. So this tree is actually endemic to India and it's classified as a weed in Florida. Uh, we are in zone 10A, which is basically where this tree would thrive. Anything colder, it's gonna have a problem, but, but given the right conditions, this tree is a beast, it'll take off. Uh, this has many uses, over 300 uses, from pesticides to if you have some kind of bugs or some stomach infection or some kind of a worms or people eat this and then flush it out. Uh, they give it to the chickens if they have some worms or something, give it to the dogs. Uh, it's safe for animals and humans, used for pesticides. The branches can be uh, broken and used as a toothbrush. Uh, people who don't have a brush or a toothpaste use this to brush their teeth and it... Oh. You've got Jabba de Cabo. So I have a few of my uh, collections of big Jabba de Cabo's planted here. Most I. I'm not a big into Jabuticawas. I probably have around 120 different varieties. Uh, <laughs> but this is something nobody has. Uh, this is a seedless Jabuticawa. This is uh, very few people, and I don't think anybody has this. It, seedless. People say the sa sa Sapukaya is the seed. It's not seedless, it's a smaller seed. This is seedless. Wow. And I made a video of it and posted it on uh, Facebook. I just ate a bunch of them last week. Uh, from my departed uh, nephew's uh, uh, tree, and those had two seeds in them. Mm -hmm. Some have one, but many of them had two. But this will seedless? pass through the teeth, yeah. Wow. It makes nice. actually a borded seed. This is a Marciaria yeah. glazioviana, the yellow jabuticaba. Okay. Not much flesh, but yeah. the flesh is has a melony flavor. It's really tasty. It's sweet. Yeah. I, l I love this. Then that's a Marciaria guacuea. The guacuaya is uh, very hard to fruit. It's uh, similar to the yellow, but makes a smaller fruit, uh, makes a little bigger fruit, sorry, mm -hmm. yellowish. And then this one is a ojo de boy, the bullseye, Plinia coronata. This makes bigger fruits, so around four centimeter big. Mm. Uh, this is a grafted tree from Brazil. Now they have many varieties of ojo de boy. So within the cultivar, they have many, selections of those. I believe the Selecto, the one they make in Brazil, is supposedly the better one. This is not that. It might turn out to be better, I don't know. That's a Plinia Spirito Santensis. Nobody has fruited that before, but uh, I know a few people who's got a bigger bigger tree than that. So, so this is a Santol. Uh, I forgot the name, the scientific name, but this uh, is a big fruit that looks like a like a giant uh, yellow mangosteen, uh, like a, something like a chupa chup, like a giant ball, and you open yeah. it like segments of fruit. Now there's two kinds: one that the leaves turn red, of on a seedling that makes a more of a sour fruit. 
This one is from a cultivar called Bangkok, which makes the larger fruit, which is sweeter and has more flesh uh, compared to the seedling. And the leaves would turn more like a yellowish, ogre color, if you mm. see it's more yellowish. That's how you know you got the sweeter variety. And, and the fruit itself, what color? Fruit is kind of uh, yellowish brown. And when opened? Yeah, opened, it's white inside, the flesh. Okay. It's very tasty. That's another one, it's the Bangkok one. I got two grafted varieties of uh, Santals. That's the uh, Ui Phai, it's the Thai variety, the Thai uh, the commercial variety, and then the Ila, which is also a Thai commercial variety. They, are, uh, they make a bigger, bigger fruits. You can see the leaves are much bigger too. Believe it or not, this tree has flowered before a little bit. Uh, because it's grafted. There's a whole variety. That's a kamu kamu. But it's it's a very hard tree to grow the kamu kamu. Okay, so this you might wondering what this is. Yeah. This this is a pedali. No, it's a Artocarpus sericicarpus pedali. Uh, this is the known as the Holy Grail of Borneo. This is ultra tropical. Hmm. I made a mistake of planting outside. You can see it died back. And mm -hmm moved out from outside to inside the greenhouse. So you learn by trial. Now what kind of fruit does it so produce? So it makes a, like a, a cool looking giant rambutan-like fruit that's this big, hairy outside and yeah. orange in color. And the inside is like small jackfruits, like white, white <laughs> seedling. It's outstanding. I mean, huh. and, and some people say it's one of the best tasting artocarpuses. I prefer Champedac, but this is one of the uh, top five artocarpuses. That's a pure champedag. A lot of people grow champedag and they think they're growing a champedag where it's like a hybrid mostly. Hmm. And they'll say, oh, look, I have champedag in Florida. But the way to tell it, the difference between a jackfruit and a champedag is, some people say it has to have hair, rough. Some people say the color has to be like uh, orangish red when instead of yellow. But the actual factor is the fruit you know, the stem on the fruit is called the peduncle. If it has rings on it, it's a jackfruit hybrid or a jackfruit. Champedec peduncles are smooth, mm. no ring on it. Mm. So that's how you tell. That's the only way to positively identify one. That's another petal eye. These are cut nuts. Tea tree, tea tree, this is make tea tree oil out of. Mm. These are all the, the rare jabos. <laughs> <laughs> so this is like the rare jabos, like a whole bunch of things from Malacacheta to the Diamantina, uh, Sapukaya, like just Plinia Oriana, there's like 10 different varieties, Plinia Fetranta, the Ruby Lantern, the Taiwan Tiger, the, so many of those, I don't even remember the names. A few Campomanaceas, purple mangosteen, these are purple mangosteens. If you notice, see this is better growing in the, su in the shade. In the shade, yeah. Much yeah. better leaves, yeah. no burns. Even that much shade is bad for them. Hmm. So it has to be even more. So this is a purple mangosteen. And these are some of the durians. But yeah, that's a durian. Durians actually grow fast if you give them the right. Not a lot of soil. They don't like soil. I made a mistake putting in a bigger pot, they died. They mm. like to be choked. Yeah. Like, huh. yeah, weird. So when you go to transplant something like this and you want to put it in the ground, what happens? So ideally you would grow durians like this, for yeah. example. So you okay. see that's doing well here sure. because it's in a taller pot. You're forcing the roots to go down rather than sideways. This would transplant perfectly. You pick it out of the pot and plant it. Just put it, yeah. Whereas this one, if you pick it up, it's going to die. Yeah. So the way I'm going to plant it is, I'm not even going to dig a hole. I'll just probably just scrape a little bit, just like, and then you cut the bottom cut of the, the pot. Cut the bottom off. And then slide it out and just yeah. leave it alone. Yeah. Don't do nothing. Yeah. The, the less you touch it, the better this plant is. Yeah, this is called a Theobroma bicolor. This is the Mocambo, the Jaguar cacao. It makes some like a variegated looking cacao. 
uh, yellow and uh, white and green and beautiful fruit. It tastes, uh, it has a lot of variation. Some are sweet, some are sour, but it's comparable to a cacao, but more flesh I hear, more flesh than a cacao. So I got Salak Pondo, which is from Indonesia. The, I got Bali Salak, so this is a Bali Salak. And Bali Salak is the unique thing about Bali is it's, uh, it's not dioecious, so it will fruit by itself. All Salaks are, they need a male, female. This one doesn't, is at least what I've heard. So this is a uh, Syzygia megacarpa, makes a giant lau lau, big fruit like this. So that's a Sacha Inchi nut. It's uh, high in omega-3. So how much rain do you get here? So we get around 70 inches. As a comparison, like somebody in California gets around 25, 30 inches. No, no, more right. like 15. 15? <laughs> If we're lucky. <laughs> so the good thing in Florida is it rains approximately nine months out of the year. Yeah. Uh, the dry season would be three months, like uh, March, April, May, or February. So those three months, actually the trees are trying to grow uh, because it's warming up yeah. and they don't have the water. So a lot of people come to Florida and make a mistake of not putting irrigation. They think it rains all the time, but you have to put irrigation. Yeah. Uh, those three months, uh, March, April, May, you have to water them daily. Uh, some avocados, uh, I'm sure yeah, California yeah. grows more, but that's an allspice, allspice berries. Cardamom, cinnamon, three kinds of cinnamon. So there's two kinds of cinnamon. Watch out these little plants. Those are, no, 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 I mean, no, 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 this, these. On that side. So this is a red avocado. Red? This? Red, red, red hardy, yeah. This? Yeah, yeah. Really? That's a red too. Hardy, no, that's a red one, sorry. This is a Pura Vida. Pura Vida makes a bigger, longer avocado. Around a foot long. That's the one with the long skinny right, right, right. and then a little ball at the end? That's it. Okay. But this is. I saw that in Homestead. Yeah, this is even an Im improved version of that, makes even a longer. This is a variety called Pura Vida avocado, makes Pure a longer. Life. Pure life, correct. That's what they say in Costa Rica, yeah. Uh. Where I'll be going tomorrow. That's a hardy avocado. We just planted it from a one gallon pot. This is, uh, see how bushy it gets in the sun, but avocados are fine in Florida. This is a red avocado. Yeah, red Russell, similar to red Russell. What's red on the red rustle? The skin is red outside. Instead the of outside green. skin? Yeah. Ah. The inside is same for all. Okay. This is a black cardamom, and that's a green cardamom. So this is the cardamom, the seeds yes. in here? Yes. Yes. So it'll dry up, and this is not ready to harvest. Yeah. yeah this is a black cardamom. There are a few types of black cardamom. The one, this one is round. There's one that's longer. Guanabana, yeah, this thing is, has a bunch of fruit. Guanabana, how do you pronounce it? You pronounce it different. Guanabana, Guanabana is Latin, yeah. Latin, South American. Yeah. Right. I, we don't have this in India, so yeah. this is a sour sop is what we call it. Sour I sop. like it, I like I do it. too. Yeah. I had a drink of this last night. So the night. way I make it, I was going to say that, the way we make it is, when it's ripe, you spl slice it open and then you add some salt and chili powder. So you get sweet, sour, salt, and hot. So mm -hmm. it kind of hits all your taste buds. It's pretty tasty that way. Or the other way is to blend it up with some milk yeah. or almond milk, whatever. I use, just use milk. And then add some sweetener. Mm -hmm. And then that's really tasty. You take out the seeds first. You, you, have, to, you have to. I assume, you yes. Got the yes. anona and seeds, yeah. I yeah. Sonkoya, Artocarp uh, sorry, uh, anona purpurea makes giant fruit. Looks like a durian almost. Mm -hmm. It has a... It's a fibrous fruit. Uh, you, most people just suck the juice out and then throw it out, but it's got a nice aroma. Very delicious, sweet, and nice aroma. See what are you of, using as mulch uh, over the, is, over your, I, I've noticed most of your trees have this going on. You know, interestingly, if you see it like that mulched, people will say, oh, you're making a mistake. 
you mulch it too close to the trunk. But there is a purpose behind it. If you open it up, which is how you're supposed to, the grass would grow over there. Mm -hmm. I can show you another tree where I didn't go and the grass would grow. So you pile it up against the tree, let the grass die, come back in two weeks and then pull it back. Or else you're going to have a, a waste that mess. defeats the purpose of mulching. All yeah. the weeds going to come yeah. through it. Yeah. Good. There's a whole bunch of... Well, this... <laughs> look at here, Tarsa. Yeah. yeah. This is the leaves are different than the... This is the one that's anti-cancer. Yeah, you got a bunch of them. Uh, champa jack, jackfruit, and I hope this was right, but it's not. Champa jack and jackfruit hybrid. Because it's a hybrid, I can grow it outside. If it has even 1% jackfruit, it's going to have rings. So on this one, you can see these are the rings. Uh -huh. okay. So you got to look carefully because it's not going to be prominent. prominent. Ah. If it's a pure champa jack, it's going to be smooth, like all the way right like this. This ring on the fruit says it's a champa jack. China. Uh, you can have the tag too here. It's a type <laughs> of a china. Hmm. Actually, it's a good thing to mix a little jackfruit to it because it's pure champadex have very little flesh. That's the abu. I think I got to pick it. Actually, I can pick it in front of you. It's got a little green. Ho oh, ho! <laughs> I can pick this. Oh my gosh, that's a big one. It has to be left and it's getting soft. Yeah. I have one for you guys if you want to. Oh, this fell from the tree. Oh my. See how big one compared to the little one is? Yeah. What is that again? These are abus. Poteria kaimito. Even though it's kaimito, there's a different tree called kaimito, but this is called Poteria kaimito. Abu is a kaimito? The botanical name is Poteria kaimito. They are related. Oh, okay. okay. Huh. One more? Yeah, but that's too green. That's the bug didn't see it. It's hidden. So let leave it alone on that. This one has more fruits on it. Yeah. Now that's about the size of the ones that I ate. So see, com compare this size yeah, to that size. Yeah, much bigger. That's a Rolinia deliciosa. They changed the name to, you know Rolinia, right? Oh, wow. They changed it to Anona mucosa, which I feel is the correct name, because I don't like this fruit. But this is pretty good though. They've got a bunch of fruits. I probably got like 40 fruits on it. There's this. this. I did not. I, so what I do is I throw a bunch of kitchen scraps underneath the tree. And the bugs, you can notice a lot of flying mm -hmm. insects, and there's a reason for it. So. Mm -hmm. Same with the abu. You want to throw a whole bunch of. That's how. Rolinia. That's how you pollinate. Those are yeah. Those are kaimitos, and I got a few white jumbles. You want to see the ilama real quick? Oh, yeah. oh, the ilamas are. I hope they were ripe. I would have. Is there anything special to get the rolinia to flower? Uh yeah, you have to hit it with the right micronutrients. So they like a lot of zinc. I use a, I use zinc sulfate. But, but uh, also definitely calcium, boron, and copper, and zinc, and a lot of potassium. Potassium is necessary for every tree. Yeah, manganese? Uh, yeah, you need, I mean, I, I even have molybdenum in a packet. Oh. I mean, I go that granular. You use a little <laughs> pinch of it. I look at that, that, that this yeah. is a red, there's a lot of this. This is the Iliamna? This is sugar apple. Oh, sugar apple, okay. Anona squamosa. Yeah. Yeah, these are some of these. Yeah, this is more than more fruit than I can eat. So this is the most size I want on a tree. That's a. That's another one. <laughs> this is a seedless sugar apple. My <laughs> <coughs> you see why I don't let people come in here. <laughs> Sorry about the bush. This is a page Adamoya, that's a Bradley Adamoya. It all have fruits on it. This is the llama. Ah, yes. Look how, the, how big they got. Oh my gosh. This is a pound each. See, the, the bottom one is pretty heavy. The one at the bottom resting on the wood. You can... I remember Roger trying to grow one of these. Roger Myers. 
Roger Myers. And he uh, he got it bigger than that, close to that size, going on the tree. Oh, it's going to be wonderful. And he went to bed, and when he got up, the rats had gotten it. Oh, oh. oh man, he was. That's another one on that tree, a little one. That's a llama too. This is called a page atamoya. Page and Bradley. Sorry, yeah, this boy, is Bradley. This is Page. Bugs are out. No seams. Yeah, you want those no seams. They're excellent for the tree. Ah, Maybe they're good terrible for, you, for me. <laughs> they <laughs> like my flavor. These are some rare custard apples. I don't know if you need to. This is called a Sartenaya. That's a Tikal. That's a Tikal. This is a green custard apple. I'm actually big into Anonas. Lots of. This is I nice. see someone has absconded with my umbrella. See so if we find some. No problem, John. No problem. Uh -oh. No problem. Let me cover it a little. Bit. I was going to stay. I'm going to. I'm going to let you go right on ahead and, or behind. Either one. Breadfruit might have some flowers. I pruned it because some of the branches had some infection, so I cut those. But it, it'll have some male flowers on it right now, but you don't have, these are bilimbis. You have an amazing collection, really. This is, this is amazing, just the quantity and quality of what you've got. Beautiful That's an stuff. Inga edulis, the yard long, three feet long. This is the Inga feuli. And I believe these are flowers. These are aki, yeah. So aki also, I got two kinds. This is regular aki and that's butter aki. Butter? What is butter aki? It's got a little more fat and it's a little more mushy. Huh. <laughs> Turn the same color? They're the same color. You wouldn't be able to tell unless yeah. you eat it. They look yeah. exactly the same. Huh. Yeah. The ingas are flowering, not my favorite. I got like seven varieties of inga. Which is not a hard to get. Like you just have to know the like Oscar, for example, is a good friend of mine. Uh, he'll, he'll, seed or how did you get them? Seed. Yeah. This one is in the nursery. This one I got a tree. I mean, they're extremely fast growers, yeah, that's especially awesome. in this we're weather. Growing, we grow them for shade uh, to just cover up. Some so imagine how it'll grow in here with all that rain. Yeah. It's like I pruned a kaimito, but it's a red kaimito. I don't think anybody has this. This is from Thailand. It's a fruit that's not purple. The regular. Purple kaimito is that one. It turns purple, like almost black outside. Mm -hmm. This is like dark red, bright red. You see how the leaves are different. That's a, another purple kaimito. These are white kaimitos, these two. These are grafted from Zil. Uh, the taste is pretty same on both. It's not much difference. Kind of milky. Milky, whereas the abu doesn't have that milkiness. Mm -hmm. So some people who like the dairy flavor would like kaimito over abu. And abu is more like a more subtle, more caramel, flan kind of a taste. So this is a variegated wax jambo. That's a giant leaf mele apple. Uh, this, try some of that. You should what try. is this over here? Is this? This is a hawk plum. Yeah, Spondius mombin. This is mombin. Extra. This is mombin. Yeah. Oh, try this I? one and try the yellow one. The yellow ones are better. This is gonna be a little sour, but the yellow ones are delicious. I like these. Definitely try the yellow one there. It's better than the red ones. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Wow. Well, you covered a lot. Rain, so yeah. you're not gonna grow anything without rain. Don't get the good oh, let me see if I can. The other one is even heavier. But I, I hope this is good. I hope this is not gonna be a disappointment. <laughs> I hope I'm cutting it right. So now, as I recall, on these, you have two different parts on the inside. Kind of a clearish or gelatinous looking, and then kind of a creamy. Yeah. Does he want me to okay. need help? Oh, yeah, there we go. So I'll hold that. While you deal with it. 
so we can cut it into you can't take the seeds now <laughs> it's a good thing you said that because they <laughs> might have disappeared you seem like a squirrel cheese, you know, like. <laughs> looks okay to me I don't know how good it'll be though so when you plant those how do you plant them as seeds so such that they're going to actually germinate and grow. Fresh planting is the best. Meaning immediately. Immediately, like plant them right now. Yeah. Which is what I'm going to do. Just put them in a pot. It's a good idea to have some pots ready with some compost on it. I, I have no idea how this is going to taste because... You warned us. It's okay. We're, we're all willing to take that chance. That's right. For, uh, for this sake of the no, video. Nobody's squeamish. This is a bucket list. I'm not going to cut your hand, don't worry. Yes, you are. No. <laughs> not on purpose, but yeah. I don't know. It should be. How many people are there? Just take we one. Got, we got five of us yeah. and Just one of you. Take one and then I'll keep one for me and my wife. I'll take the little one. Oh, wow. Gosh, I love it. Wow. That's a lot better than I remember. Mmm. That's good. It's good. Mmm. I was going to have her opinion. Mama, yeah. come here, try an abu. Mm. No, try. You don't want to be on the camera? That's great. She that is, is camera just shy. great. Is the last one anybody you can have. It. Okay, thank yeah, you. Right. I'll take it for sure. Absolutely <laughs> wow. wow. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a treat. What are we thinking on that idea? Yeah. Tasty. Mm, I agree. Definitely no. happy I'm growing it. Now I just gotta get the plug. <laughs> <laughs> and fruit. <laughs> it's and keep the rats clean. away. It's very clean tasting. It doesn't yeah. have that funky flavor of most tropical fruit has, like a jackfruit, papaya has that weird flavor. Yeah. A lot of people think it's weird, but yeah, if you yeah. grow up with it, that's fine. But, but the abu, clean, anybody yeah. can eat an abu. Yeah. Just pick this from the tree. Wow. You go. Look at that. Oh, man. <laughs> you I can actually. You serve towels after. <laughs> Beautiful. Hey, Rick, you're <laughs> I'm missing a lot of teeth, you know, right now. I'm, I'm chewing with only two yeah, teeth. I think my wife would be pretty upset if I came home with missing yeah. teeth. Yeah. Uh, but if I may, I would right love it. Oh, if you don't mind, I got good bacteria in my mouth. I, <laughs> that's probably okay. Want, I, want I've, one been, of the... I've been double yeah, vaccinated. I do sometimes, yeah. yeah. But that's not why it. <laughs> that's Anyone like... else? Mm. Not got the carbonation. Let's hey, do this too. I mean, why wait? Has a little pink on this coconut. This is. Just, wow. like a, just like an apple. It's like all those years on Naked and Afraid or on Survivor, and they'd have the coconut and couldn't open it. <laughs> I, I could use either side of my mouth. It's not. I yeah. actually try to because I don't want one side to be stronger than the other. <laughs> But I've not seen it done that way before. Just, wow. This one is a little, but that's not going to bother me. That's amazing. This one was a little hard. I had to put a little more extra 
extra 200 pounds. A little pounds. bite, a little bite in it. It's still raining. Some pomegranates and whatnot. Atomic kale. These are good for juicing. That's a mango tree. Yeah, when I didn't know anything about this property, I had my doubts. Uh, I'm a little skeptical. So when I saw this big mango, I said, okay, it does survive. I want to see something that survived for 50, 60 years. Mm -hmm. Not like somebody just popped it and said, oh, look, I have a durian. Yeah, but he might have just been got a durian. More pomegranate. <laughs> yeah, we trying to juice this one. That's sure. why. picked a lot of our mangoes. A lot of them have been planted recently, so they are not. There's some Grimmel Jabuticaba, some yellow. This is a Caipirinha, that's the Otto Anderson. Those are the Kambukas. I was trying to find some flowers. I hope they were. It flowered early this year, but then it dropped. Can you tell us a little bit about, about what you know about the Kambuka? So Kambuka is uh, Plinia edulis. It makes a little bigger fruit than a Jabuticaba. It has a mango papaya kind of a flavor. So the way to eat it is to overripe this fruit. So you want to pick it when it's fully yellow, fully ripe, and then set it on the counter for even, some people set it for a month. And it's like, should be squishy and almost liquefied. And then it's really Ready. tasty. Yeah. If you eat it before that, you're gonna be thinking, ah, it's some stale papaya flavor. But it's a it's the same family as the Jabuticabas. Hmm. Uh, very popular in Brazil. Many people like it. I've had some, that didn't taste that great to me, but this one, I'm, it's a probably a ripening thing. I have to ripen it more. How do you tell when a coconut's ripe on the tree? It starts to get that, you see the top of the tree, sorry, the top of the fruit? It starts to get pulled back, like changes color on the top of the, the ring around the top. Mm. I was trying to show you. See, these are probably duds. They probably don't have any water. But over here, it, it, it starts to get a little white and yellowish. That's when you see it. This is no water. That's cool. Oh, yeah. You here see, I pruned it, so now yeah. it's forming a nice shape. Typically, they get taller. Uh -huh. And this is the size I wanted it. I know more big. Is the Cecropia plant, and uh, it's got quite a history. Come on in here and explain this to us, because I don't know the scientific name of it. Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> well, that makes two of us. Okay, these little fingers back in here are eaten by a lot of things: birds, um, sloths down in Central America. They come in and eat those. Very, very tasty, also known as the gummy worm plant uh, because these sort of get soft and gummy and very, very sweet. These are not quite ripe, but there's lots of them. Let me see if I can find some ripe ones. Boy, look at that coming out. Mm, yeah, the leaf, that's cool. Yeah. Damn. No? No. It's okay. Oh, they, I got some. I got some. I got oh, some. Oh, good. I mean, they are delicious. But those are not right. Oh, he's got them. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks Those like gloves perfect. that got loose. I've tried it, so somebody who hasn't tried it, go for it. I, well, there's plenty there for all oh, of us. There's, oh. there's plenty. We just right. don't eat a whole one. Eat half of one. <laughs> now, if you pull that, you're going to... Yeah. You can only get like half. The, um, Chinese um, uh, chicken foot. And that's how they oh, open. Yeah. yeah. Probably Go ahead. <laughs> Yeah. It's like a watering yeah. gummy worm. It's very sweet. Oh, yeah. Not nice. It's a beautiful tree too, I think. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that's why I put it by the fence so people can <laughs> It's for looks mostly. Same with this one, but this one is trying to get getting in his way. I got Usually what I've way. seen was these would be way up yeah, into the I, trees. I'm gonna keep it like this. Maybe a yeah. foot taller than this. Once again we come to the end of a absolutely magnificent day today and thank you again so much for allowing us to come share your world we've seen some amazing plants we've experienced a thunderstorm here in florida don't forget please right now click and subscribe to us like us Better yet, love us on online and share this video with your friends. Let them know uh, what it's like in some of these places and how they might be interested in, in uh, perhaps putting a garden in themselves. That's what we're all about. Learn some new things. So hope to see you soon on Let's Find Out. Good night. talk about it. Cercropia? Cercropia. Cer Cercropia, yeah. Cercropia. Also known as a gummy worm fruit. But I like necropia because it means... <laughs> okay, this... Looks like it's alive. Dad, go ahead, Rick, jump in there and do a sales pitch. These are yours. I'll hold it and okay. zip you on it. Hey everybody, we're here at... You should have a beer. Why isn't this a beer? Oh, give daddy a hug. Oh. Going to see the goats. <laughs> what you eating there, honey? That's a cactus. Oh, okay. Mama shaved oh, off the oh, oh, Okay, yeah. Nice. Oh, that was very nice. Thank you. Yeah. Are your teeth okay? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>